How come we ever got a big break like that? Man, you can't be serious, can you? Oh, yeah. So how much money do you think we're going to be needing? You know, I can, uh, bus charge probably 500, I think we have seven. Maybe more. You dad confront us that much, man? My dad confront us so much as me. So when can we leave, man? Whatever you want, I guess. So... So, so can we leave Sunday morning? Yeah. Are you serious? So that's it, man. We're going. Sunday morning. Uh, I'll, I'll be over to your house. We'll, we'll leave by uh, we'll leave by 12. Man, I can't believe we're doing it. We're actually leaving. We're actually leaving this in this hellhole, man. All right, man. You need a front. You need to get front of the money, man. Celebrating them tonight. We're leaving straight through tomorrow morning. Did you get money from your dad? Yeah. How much did he give you, man? Guess. Five hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're set, man. All right. Tell you what. Um, we we'll straight over. We'll we'll be going to uh heading out Sunday morning early, and tonight get ready, man. We gotta get going. We got a big day today. Come on, man. <laughs> get up. All right. Hey man, is this seat taken? Uh, help yourself. Well, nice day out, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you know, I, I've been, I've been noticing you here in the park, and you're kind of here day after day, and um, I was, I was kind of wondering if I, if I could talk to you, talk to you about a few things, man. Yeah, whatever. Well, um, I was just wondering where, where you really came from, and what are you doing here, man? Go in the park. Well, I want you to know I know what it's like, man. You don't know what nothing's like. You don't live on the streets. Look at you. Man. I'm ghetto. Well, well, believe it or not, man, about, about five years ago, I was in your same situation. I... What, you, you sit in the park? No, I... I, I, I lived on the streets. I don't know who my mom is. My dad's an alcoholic. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just... Sure, brag it up, whatever, I don't care. I'll, I'll just tell you the story from the beginning. <coughs> Alright. I was a troubled youth. I didn't go to school. I dropped out when I was 14. Smoked cigarettes. Till I was... Ooh. So, man. That night, that was the night I gave up. So that was the night I surrendered. I, I, I still had problems with cigarettes, but 
not for long. Man, you gotta tell me more about this Jesus guy. Well, as I was saying, I, I the pastor, he, he, he told me that, that all I had to do was pray a prayer and Jesus would come into my life and make me a new creation. And at that time, I really didn't understand exactly how, what it meant to be a new creation and, and what it meant to, to get all that hurt and pain washed out. I don't know about you, but I used to fight for no reason. I used to fight just because I wanted to hit something. I didn't care about the person. Man, I'm sick of living this life. <sighs> well, if you want, we can you can pray this prayer with me right now, man. And, and it's, we, we, we can we can just just repeat this prayer after me, my Father God. Father God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, I ask you in the name of Jesus to come into my heart. Into my heart. Make me a new creation. Make me a new creation. I want to live for you. I, live for you. I believe that you died on the cross and rose from the dead. I believe that you died on the cross and rose from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Jesus, Jesus, I pray. Amen.